Okay, in this clip, we're going to verify the call flow that we set up in the last clip. We'll test it and uh, check that the flow matches what we think we created in the call flow. So again, we're just going to uh, log in. And let's uh, view the phone number that we had set up here. So the first thing you're going to want to change here is that when we originally set this up to get it going, we attach this phone number, which I'm going to copy here because we'll be using it shortly. And we sent it to the sample inbound call flow. Now, as you will recall, those are default call flows that are established by AWS to help you get your call center up and operational quickly. However, we created a new call flow. And by way of review, the call flow was check the incoming phone call against the schedule of on hours, off hours. So when someone calls this number, we don't want to ring here. We want it to go to, and as you recall, we named these things step one, two, et cetera. So step one is where we want it to go. So let's go ahead and save that. Then also as part of our excitement about getting going quickly, uh, in that call flow, step one, we had not yet created step two. And so we set step one to go to, again, one of the default uh, call flows. Click this guy here, give us some more room. So again, we're gonna come in, we set the voice, we're checking for hours. And you saw how we set that up in the previous clip. Uh, we're going to play a prompt. Let's double check that prompt. You have reached us during normal business hours. Very clever. Okay. And that and transfer to flow. Now, at the time we created this, we didn't have that flow uh, set up. So we selected one of the default AWS flows. But we're creating our own solution here. And we went ahead and set up step two, the main greeting. Okay, so we're going to select that here. And at this point, so the call came in first from to check the hours and the Atten, uh, drag and drop. And <clears throat> then uh, uh, it got transferred to this, which is basically just a simple. Uh, um, play prompt reached us uh, during normal business hour and then transfers it off uh, to the main greeting. Now we don't just want to save it, we want to save and publish. As a reminder, you can do a save as, you can revert to the last published script, uh, you can export and import, which are new features, so they're still under test, but we're going to save and publish this guy. And then we're quickly going to go over to, whoops, you have successfully saved the contact flow. Great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go over to contact flows and just review uh, script two, which is the main greeting. And in that, let's get ourselves some more room here. So we come into this script. We set the recording behavior, which was to record both the agent and the supervisor. Then we present them with a menu. And let's clean up that dialogue because I think it was uh, pretty simple here. Press one for sales, two for support, three for ticket. Well, well, for purposes demo, let's go ahead and leave that. Again, this is text to speech. You can change this to a um, an audio prompt of your recording if you like. And at that point, we transfer the call to sample customer flow, transfer to flow. So here we're setting sales support and ticket status. And then we're sending the call, we're saying transfer to flow. And again, here we're using a sample queue uh, 
that's provided by AWS. In the next uh, lesson, we're going to modify this because this queue um, is not acceptable for our purposes. But to get through this initial call setup, let's keep it. And as you recall, though we have a different queue for each menu selection, uh, we can use one transfer to flow uh, after we collect the input. And we have our at row handling and everything's in place. This has already been published, so there's really no need to do that. Let us go back here to the dashboard. Next, let's uh, bring up our one and only agent. We'll talk about configuring agents later. Again, we're just uh, doing a simple check on the call flow we set up. So it's going to allow me to. OK, I'm currently offline here. I'm going to change my status, make myself available. And let me see some place here. I have uh, my Google Hangouts. Go down here, and I'm going to place a phone call. You have reached us during our normal business hours, one for sales, dial two for support, and three for ticket status. I'm going to dial two. Thank you for calling. Your call yeah. is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Okay, and as you can see, Basic Q. we have yeah, success. We have, we, and, we, yes. and so we don't have the echo. So we successfully completed the call. We set up a schedule. We set up a basic greeting, a couple of cues. We created an agent. We put it in the queue. And all of this took less time than it took to make this video clip. So um, you'll notice if you listen carefully, that just before the call was connected, you heard the whisper. You heard in the agent's ear, you heard support because the caller had dial two for support. And we'll talk about the whisper function uh, in, the next, uh, in the next clip. In the next clip, we're going to take apart the default uh, queue experience. Uh, that callers have while they're in queue and will create some um, new uh, experiences and handle the calls a little differently. So more on this in the next clip. I hope you have found this informative and I thank you for viewing.